Sustainability impacts our industry in a net positive way. So some really important and kind of central sustainability issues right now are related to climate change as well as the circular economy. I think the challenges in our industry today really revolve around trying to focus on diversion initiatives at a very reasonable cost. I think everyone in today's environment would like to do the right thing, but it's also finding a cost-effective solution in order to make it attainable for our customers' needs today. Customers, our communities, and our policymakers are looking for real world solutions right now to help them with their waste management. And a company like GFL provides these solutions. GFL Environmental is a one stop shop service provider for all of our customers' needs. Early days, our focus was on finding environmental solutions that were really focused on diversion from landfill. Starting that in 2007 to sort of rolling to where we are in 2021, we've become a leader in virtually every one of those divisions that we operate with a real focus on being green and green for life. So sustainability is important to GFL. Simply put, it's because it's what we do. We provide a number of services that ultimately have a lower greenhouse gas emission through the processing of that material or what we're doing is we're providing them with products at the beginning life of their material that has a much lower carbon footprint than their virgin material counterparts. A material recycling facility, or commonly called a MRF, utilize many different type of technologies or mechanical separation technologies. The reason these technologies are so important and that we're continuously looking to upgrade these technologies is because packaging is never stagnant. Packaging will always change and we need to make sure that we are flexible when we operate and we design these MRFs to make sure that we can adjust accordingly to packaging design changes. Ensuring a circular economy, ensuring we're giving our producers or our clients the materials they need back to input recycled content into new products they will put on the shelves. And that will replace virgin products, whether it's virgin fiber or virgin plastic resins. If we can continue to do that for our environment, we will be reducing the carbon footprint and lowering greenhouse gas emissions. In the province of Ontario, organics constitute around 25 to 30 percent of the residential waste stream. As we take organics out of a landfill application, what we're doing immediately is reducing the amount of methane gas that's generated. In the composting operations, there's virtually no methane generated at all, so that's number one. Number two, it's a very interesting and very real operation that, that connects with people's everyday lives. We all generate food waste, and it's a wonderful thing for folks to know that they can put their food waste at home into a container, and that food waste is going to be converted into compost that they can buy, and guess what? They're starting to grow new, new foods. You really connect the dots between food waste and food production. We use the gas here at Moose Creek currently to generate green energy, electricity that's introduced to Ontario's grid. We do that by capturing the gas in the landfill where methane is generated, and that gas, it fuels the turbines, and therefore the gas is converted into green, green energy, electricity in this, in this particular instance. GFL Renewables is a new line of business, which is taking our landfill gas that we now capture and sell into the electricity market. As we produce more and more gas in the decades to come, we will invest in a plant on site that will clean the gas of all its contaminants and then introduce that gas into the North American grid. It generates less contaminants, has a, has a smaller environmental impact, and is obviously a replacement for some of the more traditional, dirtier fossil fuels and now really creating a cradle-to-grave solution to potentially fuel up to all of our vehicles that are currently running on natural gas. The future of the industry is, is going to be solely focused on creating sustainable solutions for all of our customers' waste needs and finding different ways to tackle climate change and finding different ways to divert as many waste streams as we can from landfill with environmentally sensitive solutions. Customers are asking for this. We make our community safer. We, we create circular economies for people feel they're actively contributing to improvement in the landfill. And when, once that happens, all sorts of other things, great things occur. GFL's vision is to be green for life. It's as simple as that.